You are listening to TF Talk News, part of the TF Talk network of podcasts and live streams, where we give you the most relevant current stories in your fandom and more, all within 30 quick minutes or less. I'm your host, Mr. Starscream, and I'll be your guide to everything worth talking about that transformed since last episode. It's your old Starscream. I am the new leader of the Decepticons. From now on, you will take orders from me. <laughs> Discover more of our great shows at tftalk.net and follow us on social media channels at tfylp. Man, I still love that song. I think I just might have to make this the Mr. Starscream theme song. In case you didn't hear last week, our intro song is named Devastator by artist Surrender. Check it out if you can. Credits can be found at the end of this show. So we're going to start the show off with feedback, and we got some today from a listener named Spammy Mix Spammy. This wonderful listener sent in the following. No one uses email anymore, Grandpa. There's your feedback. Discord slash Facebook slash YouTube comments are where you'll get it. Well, Spammy, I'm going to take a wild guess that you don't listen to podcasts on the reg. I'm not sure if you uh, noticed, but this show is an audio-only piece of media. The only reason we even bother to put it on YouTube is just because every other one of our TF Talk shows is posted there, so it's an added bonus to our YouTube viewers. Most cultured podcast listeners are familiar with the idea of direct email feedback, and any podcaster of acclaim wouldn't burden themselves with the likes of frivolous comments posted on other platforms. As we refine the TF Talk Network and this particular podcast, we strive to build our viewership by interacting in a civilized manner such as private emails. And Grandpa, please. I've lived for millions of years and expect to live a few million more. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm still in the throes of my Cybertronian youth. And last I checked, only boomers eat spam these days, spammy. Emails can be sent to tftalknews at tftalk.net. And if you too feel the need to have your message immortalized forever on this show, send us your feedback and I'll do my best to verbally humiliate you with my own flair of sophistication. On to this week's reveals. The most shocking reveal of this week was the materialization of studio series Camo Blackout from China, which I honestly thought had come out not months, but years ago. I'm glad I didn't really go out of my way to look for it. Sheesh. So the best way to get a look at this toy is to search for studio series Taobao Camo Blackout. Apparently, it has finally been released to winners after being revealed as an exclusive for buying a large amount of studio series toys on one single day, May 15th of 2019, on Chinese eBay doppelganger Taobao. That's a mouthful. The toy is essentially a mini mass-produced custom paint job of blue camouflage over top of a mass-release leader blackout toy. It looks like Duck Camo got a brand new hunting buddy. The deco was executed by Chinese artist Li Yunfeng and is hand-numbered, limited to only 88. I don't even want to tell you what I'd pay to get a hold of one of these, but don't expect to see any of them for less than three figures, if at all. Don't even get me started on the rusty bumblebee that also came out. So thanks, China, for installing your own brand of misery on the master hard drive of Transformer Land, one impossible exclusive at a time. Moving a little closer to home and back into the realm of attainability, Hasbro themselves announced the first of what is expected to be a sizable group of retailer exclusives for the mainline Earthrise toy line. WFC E29 is the Seeker 2-pack featuring our favorite Flyboy Bruisers, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Their decos are very cartoon accurate and will fit in wonderfully with Voyager Starscream. What is notable about this set is that the renders provided by Hasbro show Skywarp sporting that mysterious screaming Seeker face sculpt. But the toy photos do not. Interesting indeed. This set is going to be highly desirable and is expected to release around the 4th of July at Target stores for $59.99.
There's more where that came from, though. I think I'm a clone now. There's always two of me just a hanging around. So if seekers aren't really your thing, maybe you'll be more interested in pouncing on Target's next exclusive set, the Earthrise Decepticon Clone 2-Pack. Yes, Wingspan and Pounce are coming back in a more reasonable manner, and according to the previs Hasbro renders, will be sporting decos much closer to the Takara Tomy Legends released in Japan. See guys, good things do come to those who wait. These clones will set you back about 25 bones and will reach Target stores the last week before August. This isn't the first time we've gotten hints at a new clone 2-pack for Earthrise. Earlier this year, a leak from Amazon Canada also gave us whispers of a clone 2-pack, but now it's almost guaranteed that that listing refers to the Autobot clones. Mr. Starscream never counts out something even cooler, though. A girl can dream, right? Don't forget there was an Amazon Seeker 2-pack as well, and we do have quite a few holes in our Earthrise Seeker army as of yet. More news on other retailer exclusives can be expected in the coming weeks, so keep your circuits peeled. Time to jump in the Mr. Starscream first class cockpit as we fly back across the globe to the motherland, Japan. Our most underwhelming reveal may be the clear Legion class movie Bumblebee exclusive for TV Coon magazine. Basically, this figure will be packaged along with the May issues of that publication. This is a similar method to the same mold they released back in 2011, but this new one sports a few different decos. Bumblebee addicts will appreciate this, but that's about it. And finally, we come to the next Takara Tomy Mall exclusive Generation Selects Super Megatron. At long last, this much loved but never utilized Transformers Battle Stars manga design for Megatron will finally have its day. In a strange twist of fate, this toy is based on a Galvatron toy. Love it or hate it, the Titan Returns Galvatron mold was selected as a skeleton for Super Megatron. And according to the accompanying manga, this toy may in fact be a triple changer with some hidden features thus far. It's a bit unclear if the Titan Master gimmick is still intact, but there is something a little panel-y going on with that noggin. Pre-orders for the figure are currently available at Takara Tomy Mall. But that doesn't do diddly squat for us plebs here in the United States. If patterns persist, this generation selects will be available on Hasbro Pulse just like the Seacons and Star Convoy. But we could always get smacked with another Nemesis Prime situation and be left out to dry. Check back next week to see if there are any updates and let us know if you're planning to pick up this Super Megatron or leave him in the dust until we get a Giltar instead. Phew, that was a lot of reveals. So many, in fact, that we're going to save on the shelf until after this word from our Big Tin sponsor. Have you experienced Big Tin Robot toys and collectibles? If not, you need to know about their incredible selection of vintage and modern toys spanning all genres across five decades. Not just boys' toys, but girls' toys too. Big Tin Robot acts modest, but they maintain fair pricing and fast but careful shipping services. Just between you and me, their secret weapon is one of the most knowledgeable toy minds in the business. New items are added daily to the inventory, so there's new stuff to see every time you visit the site. Speaking of the site, you can find it by going to bit.ly slash Big Tin Robot. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash Big Tin Robot, all one word. Big Tin Robot Toys and Collectibles, the robot workshop where our worker bots rebuild the joys of yesteryear. Cleaning, sorting, and prepping used toys for sale. Bitly slash Big Tin Robot. So this is the last time you'll be hearing from Big Tin Robot for a little while, but Mr. Starscream is forever. Visit BigTinRobot.toys, and when you're ready to check out, use coupon code Mr. Starscream, all one word, for 10% off your order. This code will last indefinitely as sort of a message in a bottle cast into the endless ocean of the internet. If vintage and used toys aren't your thing, we wanted to tell you about another super slick deal that went live just today at everyone's favorite national retailer, Target. 
The time is now for their wide net $10 off a purchase of $50. And for you bulk buyers out there, a whopping 25% off any $100 order of toys purchased. Of course, Lego doesn't count for this sale. Sorry, nerds. But almost every other item in the toy section will be eligible for these deals. And even pre-order Transformers on Target.com will count. This includes things like Studio Series Blitzwing, Scrapper, and Skipjack. Get all three and find a way to add at least $11 to your order for maximum damage. Good luck, thrifters. And if you've been waiting for a good deal to grab these toys, then... Get to the ship! It's our only chance! Well, that's all the extreme deals we have for you this week, so let's talk about what else is on the shelf. The release date came and went for Netflix's Siege Redecos, and everyone was simply delighted to receive dozens of emails from Walmart.com politely informing them that this release date had been blown. I'm getting conflicting reports from my fellow Collecticons, but personally, my leader spoiler packs now have an arrival date of May 28th, and all other toys say June 17th. It's a bit unclear if this is a COVID-19 related delay, or just Walmart pulling a Walmart. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt though, because I have yet to hear of anyone getting the old cancelled notification on these Netflix pre-orders. Chances are, by early summer, you'll be itching for some form of reward for staying inside the whole spring, and patience will pay off once these toys hit your mailbox. Cyberverse Ultra Rack and Ruin is starting to ship from some retailers, so if you're part of the 0.1% that pre-orders Cyberverse toys, your day has finally come! This is a clear indication that the world's first official Rack and Ruin mainline toy is likely to be hitting any big box store that carries Cyberverse imminently. Wreck and roll! Hasbro Pulse supporters have finally gotten their catch of the day as initial pre-orders for Golf and Turtler, I mean GSTTO4 and GSTTO5, have started delivering. TF Talk Discord user Zaldron shared photos of his Seacons, and like most of the recent Hasbro USA Masterpiece releases, These figures come in a black surrounding sleeve featuring only some product ID numbers and no direct reference to the character name. Yikes! Well, hopefully the extra four months was worth it for those sweet black pieces of cardboard because anyone that ordered the Japanese ones just got the last two Seacons the same day Hasbro shipped the first two. One last thing to note is that I've noticed a pattern emerging here. For the Takara Tomy Mall fronted Generation Selects, Hasbro Pulse seems to be allowed to sell pre-orders for them in the USA. But once their shipment arrives, they add a certain allotment back in stock on the store. Turtler and Golf were back up for sale when pre-orders started shipping. The same situation occurred with Star Convoy. So stay on the lookout in the coming months, just in case you're looking to get a hold of those other four Seacons that have been sold out for quite some time. Let's take a jump into unofficial news with our singular third-party topic, Make Toys. Make Toys, or Make Toys, however you choose to peel your potatoes, was one of the early to market third-party transforming robot manufacturers. They've brought dozens of unique creations to life over the past decade and have had many upcoming products on the horizon. But that may have come to a screeching halt in the past few weeks as third-party fanboys sounded the alarm bells over the Make Toys website being scrubbed from the internet. Most failed to notice that the Make Toys official web store continued to operate normally. Wait, I still function! Let's rewind back to the fall of 2019. Make Toys had made a public announcement that they were not planning to continue operating their website. So all of this was planned, and nothing was as sudden as Alarmist would lead you to believe. And just recently, TF Source made a very public reveal of a brand new premium version of Make Toys Downbeat, which is currently for sale. So what does all this mean? Well, as a sophisticated investigative Transformers journalist, I always do my best to go straight to the source. And so I found an official announcement from the company that they made in conjunction to the premium Downbeat announcement. I won't read the entire statement, but to paraphrase, the COVID-19 pandemic has hit them hard. The statement reads, For us personally, many of our factories and staff were at the epicenter of this in its earliest state, 
and although we are now going through recovery, we were severely affected by all of this. So it does seem Make Toys has had to make adjustments, just like everyone else during this unprecedented situation. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Quote, First, Make Toys is committed to our product lineup, and we will release all the products we've revealed over the past year. All are in some stage of development. Factory space on Mini is getting booked as we write this, and we're committed to seeing all these figures released. Second, we will continue with both our remastered and Cross Dimensions line, and have even more exciting figures that are yet to be revealed but in the works to be announced this year. You can read the statement in full at maketoys.jp. So if I had to look in my Cybertronian Magic 8-Ball, I'd probably get Outlook Not So Good 9 times out of 10 here. I'm not counting these guys out just yet though, for if I did, I'd have to admit that I'll never complete my Shattered Glass Quantron. And that is simply a reality Mr. Starscream refuses to face. Hang in there, Make Toys, and just know us old timers still got your back. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode and also hope you have appreciated our commitment to getting episodes out every Sunday like clockwork. We'll have a pre-recorded episode of TFYLP tomorrow, and even though next week is Easter, you can still expect episode 8 of TF Talk News, but it may be abridged. That really depends on the news. Oh, and if Spammy McSpamballs decides to retort to my podcasting expertise again. Thanks for listening, and it's time to cool my jets and crack open some Energon. Peace. The TF Talk Network exists due to the efforts of an enthusiastic collection of Transformers fans across North America and beyond. Check out our variety of shows like Microcasters, Ouch My Wallet, Cut the Tape, and our flagship show featuring a rotating all-star cast, TFYLP, which has been running for over 10 years. The cast at the TF Talk Network is always growing, so if you have a desire to participate, reach out to us via any of our social platforms at TFYLP. The TF Talk cast is on Discord. You can join us for free by typing bit.ly slash TF Talk Discord in the browser of your choice. Intro and outro score provided by Surrender. You can find Surrender at surrender-official.bandcamp.com. Directly support our shows and keep us on the air by becoming a monetary supporter of TFYLP on Patreon. Donations through Patreon are used to cover production and server expenses that keep our shows running and are not distributed to individual staff members. If you have any comments or feedback, you can directly email the show at tftalknews at tftalk.net, and we'd love to read some of your comments on the air. And if you've got a hot news tip, send it my way. And remember this. Next time you can't find the toys you wanted at the store, don't jump to conclusions and blame a scalper. Search your feelings. You know who's really to blame. That bitch, Carol Baskin! <laughs>